Hey, cruisers. Oh, yay. This is going to be a good one. I can tell the chat is on fire. I couldn't even catch up with the live chat. It was like unbelievable how many people are in the house. Thank you all so much for being here and showing your support. It is wonderful to see all of you and to start our week off with you because, hey, what could be better than a live stream on a Monday night, baby, right? So good to see all of the cruises you guys have coming up too. I'm looking at the chat going, oh, it's so back. Cruising is so back. It's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Where shall we start? Well, let's start by thanking Mark Akira for this super sticker. That is adorable, Mark. Thank you so very much, my friend. We truly appreciate it. And it is wonderful to see all of you here. Wow, check out everyone who's in the house. I can't even name everyone's names. This is incredible. Brenda said, ooh, pretty. Brenda, do you like the new dark and evening style background? Let's call this Cruise Tips TV after dark. What do you think, Brenda? I know we need to get Jim in the house. Where is he, Karen? Where's Jim? We'll find him. He'll show up. I'm sure he will. Oh my goodness, so good to have all of you here. So our main priority tonight is, of course, going to be answering your cruise questions to the best of our ability. We don't have all the answers, but we have a pretty amazing community here. So if we can't answer the questions, we will absolutely do our very, very best to get an answer for you from um, our great community. So start typing those questions in. I'm really enjoying also seeing... Um, all of your cruise countdowns. It sure feels good. My goodness. Bruce Locksmith is in the house. Bruce, thank you so very much for the super sticker or the super chat and good evening to you as well. Wow, Gypsy Soul, you just got back from Antarctica. Could that be any better? Well, let's get to a question that I saw. It's, I think it's Shamara or Zayomara said, first time cruiser here. I'm so nervous about getting off the ship for excursions and then missing the ship and not getting back on time. Any tips? Yes, of course. We do have tips for you. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Type it out phonetically in the chat if you'd like. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me. But um, best tips are if you're a first time cruiser, you might want to book your excursions through the cruise line. Consider doing that. If you don't want to do that, if you're feeling bold and you want to book them on your own, what you want to do is just plan to be back to the ship about 90 minutes to two hours in advance of the ship sailing away. And that extra cushion time of about two hours will make you feel so much better. Oh my goodness, Shannon Hall, thank you for the adorable super sticker. That is a cute one. So try not to be nervous about it. Have a blast. With preparation, we can control all of these feelings of anxiety. We really, really can. Another person saying that they're going to Antarctica. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I like it. Jim said the set, set looks cocktail afternoon sexy. Yes, Jim, we've decided that this is Cruise Tips TV After Dark. Mr. Cruise Tips TV surprised me with this one and said, I'm going to keep the lights down low. And I like it a lot. You guys, you notice it and you like it. I actually want to keep it. I think it's fantastic. All right. Let's see here. Jennifer Carr said, taking my sons, 23, 21, and 18, best ideas for their entertainment. Jennifer, it depends on what cruise line you're going on. If you're booking with Royal Caribbean, for example, you'd want to hit all the aqua shows. You want to go to the ice shows, get them involved in the ice skating. They're going to have the time of their lives hanging out on the boardwalk. There will be more for them to do than they can ever imagine. So the first thing I think with kids that age is to choose wisely. Choose your cruise line wisely. All right, David R. said, hello, I love watching your channel, New Cruiser, going on my first cruise on Panorama in December. Yes, David. David R., you're going to have such a blast on Panorama. That ship is beautiful. It has a personality of its own. There's so much to do. There's so much to see, and it's still sparkly and new. You're going to love it, David R. Have a blast. Noreen Chang said, Mexican Riviera in late September. Would that be very warm and very rainy? It's not likely going to be very warm. I mean, excuse me, very rainy, but it will be very muggy. You could get a little bit of rain, but it's going to be extremely humid compared to other times of the year. So September versus December, for example, even in Cabo will be very humid. So just plan on um, drinking lots of water, wear cool clothing, and there might be some thunderstorms. Is possible. You just never really know with rain. We've encountered September rainstorms for sure. Scotty's in the house. Scott, thank you so very much for the super chat, and thank you so much for sharing this in the Panorandos 
group. You are such a sweetheart. I appreciate you. I was thinking about you, Scott, when I was on Miracle because they had some really cool memorabilia, some like 50-year memorabilia. And I was like, oh, I bet Scott already has all of this stuff. But I hope you had a great birthday. Happy birthday to you. And it's great to have you here. Cosmic Unicorn said, internet package worth it or not? Usually it's worth it to me and buy the highest level package available. It depends on you. It depends on if you're really wanting to unplug. I don't think most people truly can unplug on a cruise, but to me, it's worth it. Lindsay said, which cruise do you think has the best room for solo people? Definitely Norwegian Cruise Line, Lindsay. Definitely. CC Taylor said, hi, Sherry. Weird question. Can you ever leave an excursion early if you want to head off and explore on your own, specifically Bouchart Gardens? Three hours is too much for my boys. Bouchart Gardens is probably not a good one to leave early because you're in a remote area and you have to get yourself back to Victoria. Maybe some of our friends who have been to Bouchart can weigh in on that, but I would not recommend doing that. Other excursions where you're doing like a city tour, sure, they might let you leave early. That is possible. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Bradley Ramju, thank you for the super chat, Bradley. Bradley says, going on Discovery Princess in two days for a four-night Alaska sampler. If you could do only, only two, which specialty restaurants would you do? Well, I would do Sabatini's and Crown Grill. Um, those are the more expensive ones, but those are the ones I would do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really worry about Salty Dog or anything like that, but those are the main ones anyhow, so those are the ones I would do, Bradley. Fun. Have a blast. I'm jealous. That sounds like a really cool um, cruise, by the way. Okay. David R. said, I booked a cabin under the Lido deck on Panorama. Is it going to be a loud location? Depends on where you are under the Lido. It might be if there's some pool chair moving. It just depends on where you are, David. I wouldn't stress about it because usually the noise ends at some point. So, Bruce, another super chat. Bruce, are you going on a two super chat streak? August 21st to 29th, Greek Enchantment Cruise on Oosterdam with the four adult family members to celebrate surviving the pandemic. What a dream come true on Holland America. Bruce, that's coming in hot. You're going to be on that cruise before you know it. What a glorious time to go over to Greece. Yay. How are the restrictions for cruising over there? Is it pretty open? Let me know. Chris Sucarata said, how do you protect your items at the beach when you're solo? Like if I go swimming, leave my gear behind, going to Bermuda 26 days. You know what we do, Chris? We don't take much in the way of belongings with us, and we take a waterproof neck wallet and just take it in the water with us if we're going swimming. Um, and if it's not super valuable, we just leave it on a chair and don't worry about it too much. You could buy some kind of a a locking device. Some people do that, but for me, it's just don't take much with you and keep it on your body in a waterproof case. Um, oh, yay, Teresa. Teresa said, I met you on the miracle at Nick and Nora's last week with my mom. You're as genuine in person as you are online. Thanks for all you do for the cruising community. Teresa, don't make me cry. Thank you so much. It was so lovely to meet you. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh, of course I know who you are. It just, I was like, who did I meet with their mom? Wait, were you the one sitting next to us at dinner? I think you were. Was it Teresa who was sitting next to us? Oh my gosh, I remember you, of course. How sweet. Thank you so much. Lisa Fretley or Fretley said, we're on Sapphire Princess. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Um, Kristen Lube said, is it better to purchase flights through the cruise line or on your own? It depends on the cruise line. Some people like to purchase on their own. Personally, I buy through the cruise line with Royal Caribbean and Princess specifically because their guarantees are incredible and I've had excellent experiences with both of them and I found the airfare to be cheaper. Use caution when booking as part of your inclusions, though. You don't want that cruise line booking your air for you. That's the part you don't want. You want to be able to choose your own flights. With Princess and Royal Caribbean, you choose your own flights. You just pay less. It's fabulous. Um, Jessica Romero said, did you try the Bonsai Sushi Express on the Miracle? How was it if you did? We did. We tried it on day one. It was great. It's small. They have a few rolls and some sashimi. It's up in the Lido deck. It was really delicious. They give you a pager. You pay. You wait for your food. It's all upcharge. Um, but it was lovely. We found it, Jessica. We enjoyed it. We did only eat there once. Um, Hannah Barnes said, been watching your videos to get ready for my first cruise later this month. Thank you for all the Panorama and Mexican Riviera content. It is our pleasure, Hannah. And that makes us so happy to hear because we did Panorama twice last year and the Mexican Riviera is our home, um, our home base. So it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Scotty. Scott said, what are your thoughts for a Panama Canal transit with Princess? What's the vibe like with Princess compared to C Carnival? Well, 
Uh, it's way more mellow, like way older demographic, really mellow, but the ships are beautiful. And no matter what cruise line you choose to go through the Panama Canal, you're going to have an older demographic and a more mellow crowd because those are the people booking that cruise. It's wonderful. Um, if you want more bells and whistles, book one of the newer and grander ships. If you want to go through the old locks, choose one of the older ones. Um, I didn't see Jamara's, um, question about Carnival Vista tips and tricks, but I will definitely get to that. Thank you. I missed that one. Um, anyhow, Scott, it's wonderful. It is a mellow cruise. It's all about the history. It's all about reading the path between the seas before you go read the whole book, learn all about the history of the Panama Canal. I know you want to, if you have, you probably read it already. You're such a, you're such a maritime history buff, Scott, as it is that I imagine you've already read it. But the feeling when you approach those locks and you start thinking about the history, having read that book, it is one of the most memorable cruise experiences that I have because you feel so tied into the area. And what you'll do is you'll find yourself looking around at the landscape and you'll be thinking about all the hardships that the people went through. Not only the explorers, but the people building the canal and all the disease that racked through the area. And it's just of such historical significance that for you, I think it's going to be really incredible. However, Carnival does... I mean, you could do a Panama Canal transit with Carnival, too. That's also a possibility, Scott. So, you know, if you want to keep the, the Carnival vibe, wait and just do a Carnival one. I think my dad did Carnival through the canal. I feel like, I feel like he did. Um, Zayamara, Vista Carnival tips and tricks. Oh, my gosh. I've never been on Vista, but I think we should let our community weigh in on this. What should Zayamara do on Vista, y'all? Let's help her out. <laughs> Oh my, you guys are good tonight. Mm. Karen and Gord, how are you guys? Karen and Gord said, is 80 days too early to book for a trip? Heck no. We just booked one so last minute, way shorter than 80 minute, 80 days. Now you guys are coming in from Canada. So I um, just kind of, you know, assuming that you guys can pull it out of the hat, if you can get yourself from Canada down to this cruise, then do it. All right. Mr. Christophe, that is a great question. I will find out for you. All right. I want to thank Dave Savard. Dave, thank you so much for Mr. Christophe TV's birthday wishes yesterday. You're a sweetheart. I'm thanking you publicly because I appreciate it so very much. You guys are all like family to us. And every little message, every email that you send us, you never know how much it means to us. Um, I know you'll never really know, but I'm telling you right now, thank you. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts to those of you who remember our sweet things like our birthdays and our anniversaries. I also want to take a moment, you guys, to wish a very, very special happy anniversary to some of our friends who are here in the chat today. Um, Mike and Cheryl have a big wedding anniversary coming up this week. So please join me, you guys, in wishing Mike and Cheryl the most wonderful anniversary and also a most wonderful cruise on Harmony. Mr. Cruise TV, can I have my fan? I'm boiling hot. Isn't that weird? Maybe it would help if I took off my Ugg boots. You guys, this is... It's not plugged. This is really embarrassing. You wonder why I'm hot. This is what I'm wearing on my feet. What an idiot. I'm taking them off right now, but then I'm going to be shorter, babe. Is that going to mess things up if I'm shorter? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not plugged in. I don't think I can plug it in either, can I? Just let you handle it. He's like, just, just leave the tech to me. Leave the tech to me, please. Oh, I love it. So all the wonderful anniversary love coming in for Mike and Cheryl. Thank you so much. Bruce says, happy belated, Mr. Cruz Hips TV. Oh, thank you so much, Bruce. Mr. Cruz Hips TV's birthday is actually tomorrow. So you're not belated at all. You are in perfect time. So thank you very, very much. Gavin said, all your videos are making us, oh, thank you so much. All your videos are making us want to go to the Mexican Riviera for a graduation cruise in 2023. Oh, yeah. Do it, Gavin. What a great idea for a graduation cruise in 2023. And you have so many ships to choose from now. You have Navigator of the Seas. You have Discovery Princess. You have other princess ships out here. You have Carnival Panorama. You have so many choices. So, anyhow. Yes, yes, yes. 
Oh my goodness. Mike and Cheryl, you guys are too sweet. You did not have to give us a super chat. Mike and Cheryl said, best romantic lounge on Harmony. Oh gosh. There is a big, huge, beautiful bar with windows on it that are like floor to ceiling. And I feel like it looks out over, is it Central Park or the Boardwalk? Remember that big bar? Is it, it used to be called Bolero's, babe? I'll think about it and try to find, I'll try to find the name of that bar, but I absolutely love it. But thank you for the super chat, Mike and Cheryl, and happy anniversary to you guys. Ginger Snap, thanks for the super chat. Ginger said, Caribbean cruise to Mexico and Bahamas on Allure of the Seas uh, for Royal Caribbean September and Iceland cruise on Celebrity in August. What, Ginger Snap? Wow, wait, Caribbean cruise to Mexico and Bahamas on Allure in September and Iceland. Oh my goodness, you guys, with the Iceland and the Antarctica, you are all doing my dream cruises before I can even get to them. Oh, thank you for all the birthday wishes, guys. Um, Michelle DeGroote said, what should I not miss on Radiance of the Seas? You know, Michelle, I haven't been on Radiance of the Seas, but I've heard that that ship is wonderful for all its windows. Michelle, my friend Susie, do you know Cruising Susie, my friend, on um, Instagram? She, her Instagram handle is cruise, yes, please. She just got off Radiance of the Seas and she has an Instagram highlight on it. Go check it out. It's fabulous. And she has all the latest and greatest. Jim Ring said, Sherry, what you drinking tonight? I am drinking a um, Kraken and Diet in my, my bullet glass. I love this glass. It has a bullet in the side of it. Can you guys see it? It's so cool. So thanks, Jim. What are you drinking tonight? Vicky said, is there a preferred time of year to do a Panama Canal? Yes. So Vicky, they only reposition during certain times of the year. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's typically in the November, December, or April time frame, just those times. So yes, um, those are the times, and that's pretty much all the choices that you get because they're only during the times that we're repositioning over there. Ah, oh, thanks, you guys. Just taking a deep breath really quickly here because I've been talking nonstop for a few minutes. Forgive me. Oh, D. Harold said, where is the sail away bag from? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to talk about this. Okay, I just put a link in there for you. D. Harold, the sail away bag is from our Amazon store. And right after tonight's um, live stream here on YouTube, we're heading over to Amazon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the product wins and fails from our last cruise and some of the things that we decided to take, some of the things we left home, what worked and what didn't. So if you've never done that before, you guys, if you've never joined us on Amazon for a live stream, I just put the link in the chat. Be sure to click on it right now and click follow. Even if you can't make the live stream, you can still shop the live stream or check it out, or you can just come another time and see us on those um, live streams. They're really fun. Alexis is here. Hi, Alexis. Alexis says, do you guys notice a lot of first time cruisers post pandemic? It's exciting. Curious your thoughts way more than I ever thought. Um, on Miracle, we talked to so many first time cruisers who we were shocked. They're like, oh yeah, this is our first time. On Carnival Miracle, we met the most delightful couple in the gift shop and they were, they had never been on a cruise before. It's really exciting. So yeah. Kristen said, have you been on a Mexican Riviera cruise in December? Yes, and it's wonderful. It's some of the best weather ever. The water can be a little cool, but not as cold as like in February, Kristen. So it is fabulous weather. And you can get, you might be able to get whale watching too. Whale watching is December through April. So enjoy it. Um, Kristen, do they decorate for Christmas the whole month? Most cruise lines will decorate at least most of the month. Typically they will decorate either the right after Thanksgiving or a week or two after Thanksgiving. So it's a little hard to say exactly when, but usually by December, those decorations are going up. Yeah, wow, you guys have so many exciting um, questions coming in. I love it. Okay, um, let's see. I see another question from Lexi J. Anything special or specific you recommend we do on Harmony of the Seas? Currently on there now, day two. If you haven't gone to Wonderland, you need to go to Wonderland. Um, that would be a recommendation. The specialty dining is phenomenal on there. Ride the carousel. Ride the carousel in the, um, 
the boardwalk area and just act like a kid. Zayomara. Thank you, Zayomara. Verify. Does it make it easier to go through check-in? It makes it easier when you're there, but it's a pain in the butt when you're doing Verify at home. I didn't find it to be intuitive at all. I have used Verify for international trips and I don't remember it being such a nightmare, but for Carnival Miracle, it was a pain in the butt. But then once we got there, it was fantastic. We just flashed our Verify pass and it was great. So it's worth it. I'm sorry, Hope Faith. I hope you and your family feel better soon. Um, Anna Woley said, have you already talked about current restrictions? We haven't, Anna. We're kind of just doing Q&A and the restrictions are sort of different. Uh, across the board. Right now, all the cruise lines are still mostly requiring vaccinations, but many of them are opening up to exemptions. For example, Princess and Holland America have just opened their exemption program and are allowing 5% of people to sail unvaccinated. Masks are pretty much no longer a thing at all on cruise ships. I don't know of any cruise ships that have any mask requirements at the moment, but some are still requiring them in the terminal. Carnival Cruise Line has eliminated their requirement for masking in terminal for embarkation and debarkation across the fleet. So that's a little summary, Anna, of what's kind of going on in the world. John Carey, John and Tanya, thank you so much for the birthday super chat. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, he might be bashful over there, but he truly appreciates it. Thank you so much. You just bought his filet mignon tomorrow night. <laughs> We're going out to dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm glad, Pam, that you had a good experience with Verifly. It is fast. Um, yeah. It's, it's pretty quick. It's just a little bit of a pain. Yes, Alexis. There was so much negative press. I wonder if they're adrenaline junkies, right? I know. I don't know what it was. Maybe they were just, like, trying to, um, I don't know. What's the word? Maybe they were trying to take advantage of good deals or something. I'm not really sure. Yum, Elizabeth. What a delightful, oh no, you came home with a cough. I was, when I was reading the ingredients to your cocktail, I did think that sounds like a hot toddy. I'm so sorry you have a cough. The good old travel cough. Oh no, oh my gosh. Bottom ginger and turmeric tea for my Amazon channel. It is, you bought it, Jim? How'd you get it so fast? It is good, isn't it? I realize I think I have the lemon ginger and not the turmeric ginger. Um, Mrs. Amos 25, thank you for the super chat. First time cruise with family of seven kids from five to 15 on Carnival Panorama in July. Is their fly to fun program recommended? Under some circumstances, yes. I would say I've never used fly to fun with Carnival, but if you get to pick your own flights and you find that they're cheaper, then yes, and they guarantee that you're going to get there in time, then yes. And my rule is the same with any of these flight programs. If you're booking your own flight and it's cheaper, book with the cruise line. If they're booking it for you and they're choosing the time, stay away. Lisa Freetley, Hawaii in November. What's the weather like and what is it like on the ship? I've never done a cruise, Lisa, to Hawaii in November, but my understanding is that's a beautiful time of year. Maybe somebody can shed a little light. Karen and Gord, thank you for the super chat. With no words, we'll just take that as a pure love super chat. It's pure love. Oh, no, Chris. That's a bummer about Bermuda. What? Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Chris and Jenny. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think you've got another one for me. Is Brent? Okay, I'll go in order, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. I will behave myself and go in order with the questions. Oh, wow. Really, Scotty? They wouldn't accept the Verifly? They took it for us on Miracle? What on earth? Something must have gone wrong. But no, they totally were taking it for us. Oh man, that's bizarre. I feel like something must have gone wrong. Okay, Brenda Beretti said, what, are the t what were the two biggest differences in your most recent cruise from your previous ones post-COVID closures? Um, okay, Brenda. Okay, I, ha I had to think about that for a second because I was like, wait, the biggest difference is between, okay, yes, I see what you're saying. So how have things changed since my cruise in December to the one I just did in April? The not wearing a mask on the ship at all, for sure, because even though when you and I were on adventure, we didn't wear masks, then when I went back on Panorama, masks were a thing again. So having masks not be a thing was definitely a big deal. Um, other differences, um... <sighs> definitely higher capacity. You're seeing a lot more people. 
I also felt like the vibe in ports was kind of more chill. Like there was less stress about getting off the ship and the, the ports were more welcoming. And I feel like that's going to continue to happen where it's going to be, they're going to want us back and there's not going to be as much fear. Um, on our last cruise, Cabo just got canceled. Cabo just said, mm, you're not coming. You can't come. And then in April, it was like wide open. First Sergeant Richard, it's so lovely to see you. He said, good evening, milady. 33 days to our first Alaska cruise with Don T. Do you have any favorite excursions up north? I do. I do, First Sergeant Richard. I, in Juneau, I love the simple life. I love just going to Mendenhall Glacier and hiking my family out to, to Nugget Falls for the day. It's a short hike. It's more of a walk, but it's lovely. Um, in Ketchikan, if you can go to a totem park, that's really fun. Or get yourself out on the water in Ketchikan. That is always highly recommended. And in Skagway, the White Pass Rail. So those are my faves for you first sergeant and thank you so much again yes scotty always print those documents off oh my gosh yes karen clay karen lives in hawaii guys and she is our resident expert saying that october and november are awesome in hawaii thank you karen for weighing in on that Irene Hopkins, I want to welcome you and thank you so much for subscribing. Teresa Brown said, thoughts on Mr. Sancho's and Cozumel? What are your favorite things to do? I like Mr. Sancho's, but I like the other beach club, Nachi Cocom, better. To me, Mr. Sancho's is okay, but it feels crowded, small, and the beach is small. I like Nachi Cocom, and next time I go, I want to try Paradise Beach. Koa Lee said, will the COVID test for embarkation go away? I think all of this will go away eventually, Koa, but not yet. I don't know what will go away first, vaccine requirements or COVID testing. I feel like one will go and then another will go. Shannon P said, any tips for St. Kitts? We did the train last time and don't really want to do another beach day. I've heard getting a day pass at an all-inclusive resort is a wonderful thing to do or just a good old-fashioned um, island tour, but a day pass at a resort might be nice or a food tour. Hope Faith, what about carnival ships? Do you have to wear a mask on the ship? Nope, you don't. For the exemption, you would pay for the cruise in full and then have your travel agent contact them. Or actually, you wait for an email from Carnival. I'm so sorry. Your, your travel agent can't do it for you on Carnival. On Carnival, you wait for an email that asks you to attest to the fact that you're vaccinated or not, and then you apply for a vaccination through their link. Um, Steven, personally, these days I'm booking my flights myself and my agent is telling me to book them myself. Accommodations, hotels, I usually book through an agent. Larry Glynn said, question, how many days ahead of our November cruise should we go to Barcelona? Ooh, um, two to three would probably be enough to see the area. Barcelona's great, but it's also pretty compact, so you can do Barcelona in a day or two. Oh, Megan, thank you so much for the super chat. You are so sweet. Megan. Birthday Diet Coke or another drink for Mr. Christmas Me. Thank you, Megan. Megan, we were talking about you yesterday on Amazon Live. I used the maple syrup you mailed to me for our French toast yesterday on the platform, and we were totally talking about you. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it, and I thought of you yesterday when I was cooking, and I know there's people who were here who could attest to that. All right. Awesome Zone said, what is a reasonable cash tipping per person? You know, it really depends on what you're doing on your cruise. If you have a lot of shore excursions, if you're taking a lot of um, taxis, if you are going to be wanting to tip your bartenders, we usually pack a few hundred dollars in cash for tips and we don't always use it all, but it just kind of depends. Um, Zayomara in Belize, any reef snorkeling would be wonderful. Do a reef snorkeling or the ruins or tubing, cave tubing. Cosmic Unicorn, what website can I use to book beach clubs in Cozumel? Cosmic Unicorn, you want to go directly to the website for the provider. So if you want to go to Nachi Kakom's website, just search Nachi, N-A-C-H-I, Kakom, and go directly there. Um, Irene Hopkins, I've been reading the FAQs, but I can't seem to figure out what day the formal night falls on. Depends on your cruise, Irene. Um, it, you know, really, it depends on how long it is. Two, night two and night five, night two and night six on a seven night cruise is relatively common. Thank you so much, Vegas Jack. Vegas Jack said, enjoy your live chats. Looking forward to when you hit 100K subscribers. We are so close. Vegas Jack, we're talking like 500 away. How exciting is that? So cool. Um, yes, Kelly, we absolutely um, replay later. Let's help Brenda with Barbados recommendations. Hello, Cricket Fox, my beautiful friend Christina from Down Under. Let's give you a wave. Hello, love. Good to see you. Um, 
the is dazzles the name of the harmony bar with windows it used to be you know panna royal i hope it still is because i'm thinking it's dazzles if it if, if it's not dazzles now it used to be dazzles before it it's fabulous um good one cheryl about the formal nights usually being c days that is so very true I'm checking to see if I've missed any of your questions. Anybody feel that their question has been missed? You just type it right in the chat right now. I don't want to miss anything, so please go right ahead. Um, Naomi, hello, Naomi. Any tips for Alaska? Oh my gosh, we have so many good videos to watch for you. Go back and watch our packing videos. Take some binoculars. Shop our um, Alaska cruise store, Naomi. There's just so many fun things to do in Alaska. I would say too, another really good thing to do, Naomi, with Alaska is, you know, you want to budget for excursions. They're expensive. And if you, you know, if you want to spend a little bit more on excursions, budget for it, plan ahead. But if you don't want to do it, just know that there are ways to do things on a budget in Alaska. And we typically do them on a budget, like going to Mendenhall Glacier and taking the hike out to Nugget Falls is actually a wonderful thing to do. And it doesn't cost that much. Taking the Mount Roberts tram in Juneau is also great. Awesome Zone said, is it cheaper to buy a bottle of liquor on the carnival? Well, Awesome Zone, cheaper than what? Cheaper than at home. It's more expensive than at home. They're pretty pricey, to be honest with you. But if you really want to have a bottle of liquor in your room, go for it. If it were me, I'd just get the drink package instead. Steven said, we always prepay gratuities. We booked a four-person cabana on Celebrity Apex for a day, what's a typical tip for the cabana attendant, anyone? Um, it depends on how many of you there are and what level of service they provide. If they're really, really helping you out for the day, if they're bringing you food, they're bringing you drinks, I would say anywhere from 20 to $80 would be an appropriate tip depending on how many people and how hard they work. I know that's a very wide range. Um, Dina, on a transatlantic, I would think there would be two to three, but it depends on how many nights. Um, let's see here. I think we got Steven's question there, sweetie. Yeah, Vernon, you guys are doing a transatlantic coming up soon, too. Mm. Sheldon said, you did the, the vlog on pre-cruise testing. Do you think that video is still current? Very much so, Sheldon. Great question. Um, we just did the same exact process with the same exact company again two weeks ago, and it was exactly the same. 100%. Nothing has changed. Very current. Thank you for asking. Aw, oh, Zayomar, I'd love to go on Vista. Wow, Christina. How fun. Mari Garza, any updates from Carnival when they'll start accepting bookings for weddings? Oh, Mari, I don't know. I'm not sure. I can ask my travel agent for you, though. She's a wedding expert. Hopefully soon. They've got to get that. That's got to be like a, a good revenue opportunity. Jeannie Leone said, what's the best stop to do a whale-watching excursion in Alaska? Mm, probably Juno. Yeah, I don't, I have to tell you, I personally, Jeannie, don't love whale watching in Alaska. I didn't find we were close enough to the whales. I like doing it off of the coast of California so much better. Um, anyway, Jeffrey Valeski said, your videos of the panorama never show you at the buffet. Is that bad or is the other food that much better? Jeffrey, I think it's better. I think the buffet on Panorama was okay. We did eat there a lot. In fact, we probably ate there most days for lunch. It's just a hard thing to vlog about because you kind of, it's like a quick and dirty thing. You're like, get in there, you grab your food, you sit down, you scarf it, and you go. Um, so we, we pretty much ate there every day. As far as the food quality at the buffet on Panorama, I think it was fine. I don't, I don't really feel like buffet food is my favorite on any cruise ship, but I think it's fine. It's just not phenomenal, I would say. Kristen said, what if I'm in a family suite? What's a good tip for your room steward, my first suite? Ah, I would say they're already getting a good tip from you because remember they're getting more than the regular stewards. I would probably say 40 to 100 bucks extra for the week if you feel inclined, but I don't think you have to feel obligated at all. 
Tony G. Thank you, Tony, for the super chat. Tony said, I have a second booster scheduled two weeks before my cruise. Torn between protection versus catching COVID in CVS. Oh, my gosh. You're our, you're our soulmate. We were feeling the same way. We're like, I don't want to go. When I would go get my vaccines at Walmart, I was afraid I was going to catch something. I feel you. I would do it. Um, I know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Should I get the booster or not? Oh, it's such a personal decision. We did it. We got the boosters in November just because we're like, you know, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's just a really hard one. I, I don't know, Tony, but I feel your pain. It is so, it's so hard. It's such a hard decision. It really is. Lisa, Royal Princess, yay. Specialty dining, um, oh my gosh, you'll be happy. I would say it's going to be harder to do gluten-free, Lisa, in Sabatini's. It's going to be easier in Crown Grill. And just make sure you let the maitre d' know on night one that you're gluten-free. They're going to spoil the heck out of you. Boy Meets Grits, tipping etiquette as a first-time cruiser. You did princess all-inclusive, including gratuity. Who and how much did you tip? Well, everything is already included. So what you tip on top of that is discretionary. A dollar or two extra per drink if you want or not. An extra 20 to 80 bucks to your room store at the end of the week or not. Other than that, it's discretionary. Yeah. Um, Melissa, I've never been on Carnival Paradise, but how fun. Those smaller ships are a blast. I would say just enjoy the old school smaller ship because they're kind of a dying thing right now. You know, there's not many of them left. So enjoy it. Take lots of photos, take video and enjoy. Okay. We've got time for two or three more questions, guys. And then we're going to be heading over to Amazon. So type those questions in if we have missed you. Oh, congratulations, Karen Judson. I'm so glad you got your results. Um, Georgia and the Fun Squad were great. Amanda, unfortunately, we weren't out and about as much on this cruise. This was a time of, like, just chilling in the cabin, and we didn't do as many activities. We barely even touched the sail away party. We just kind of popped in, popped in. She was wonderful, though. Georgia and the Fun Squad were really great. People were happy. Zach the Mac! Would I choose a 29-day L.A. to Sydney or a 33-day from L.A. to Antarctica, both on Princess? I would probably do the L.A. to Antarctica if it's going around South America and doing a lot of stops. The L.A. to Sydney, uh, Australia, sounds like it doesn't have a lot of stops to me, whereas I bet that that L.A. to Antarctica maybe has more stops. So that's my personal opinion. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Samir, you guys, who is a medical professional, says if you're getting the booster, go into wherever you're getting your shot early in the morning. What a great tip. Excellent. Um, Sheldon said, booking flights through Princess better than going solo. Personally, for me, I will always book my flights through Princess and Royal Caribbean because I always find better deals and they guarantee it and you don't have to pay for your flight until you make final payment, my friend. How glorious is that? Davis 58 question. Do you have any third party shore excursions for Cozumel? Yes. hundred percent. Go to the beach clubs, Nachi Cacombe, Paradise Beach. Fabulous. Love them. Diva Temple said any questions for super huge Oasis class ships booked on Wonder of the Seas. They are easy to navigate. You are not going to have a hard time Diva Temple. Cause guess what? The, um, thank you. Cause I didn't get Davis. Yeah. Thanks for leaving that one up there. I didn't get that one. Perfect. The neighborhoods make them so easy to navigate. My advice to you is don't even think about it. Just go have fun. As soon as you get on that ship, you'll take the first day and you'll be like, oh, okay, I'm in the Royal Promenade. And you'll know what's there. And then you'll go to the Central Park and you'll be like, oh, well, this is obviously in Central Park. And then you'll go to the boardwalk and you'll be like, oh, it all just makes sense. You're going to be great. So easy. Um, oh, Davis 58 said, do you know how often the cruise planner goes on sale for Royal? I don't know, but it seems to be every couple of months. Ask Matt over at Royal Caribbean blog. He knows. Ethan O'Neill says thoughts on Virgin Cruises. Yeah. Ethan, the ships are more beautiful than you would think. If you've just seen photos and you've never seen anybody's real, like good vlogs, you may be missing out. Very good for adults. Um, good for edgier people. Um, I would say people who like nightlife, people who like things a little more on the edgy side are probably going to like Virgin more. And also people who love good food. The food is included and it's, it's a great experience, but you definitely, it's going to feel different, but it's beautiful. The ships are gorgeous.
Oh, I haven't seen Lee on the Mardi Gras, but he seems to be doing great. We stay in touch kind of through social media. Um, yes, Michelle, you can do it on an iPhone. We did ours on an iPhone. You can absolutely do that, Michelle Quaka. Don't worry. Um, Kenya, you should be able to print your luggage tags probably 45 to 90 days before. I would think pretty soon, between 45 and 90 days, get in there and start looking. Um, Becca, yes, lots of special things for wedding and honeymoons. If you do decide you want to book a wedding on a cruise, please let me know because my travel agent is a wedding specialist, but you're going to need to message me separately. All right. Um, awesome zone said, what type of printout is needed for COVID results? Just a PDF. Yeah. Just whatever you can download and print is fine, but print the whole thing because you need, they need to be able to see your birth date and they need to be able to see the type of test and all the details. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you so much for, for helping out. Okay, you guys. So this is the part of the program where we're going to sign off, but we're going to take y'all over to the after party. And that is going to be a fun one. If you've never been to one of our Amazon live streams, I've just dropped a link into the chat. Even if you can't come, please click on the link and click the follow button. We're very close to hitting 8,000 followers over on our Amazon. And I have a funny feeling that within the next 10 minutes, we're going to probably hit it because you guys are going to help. We're at 7,961 followers. And I'm just guessing that by the end of the night, knowing all of y'all, you're going to help us get to 8,000. Amazon Live is an interactive shopping experience. And tonight we're talking all about the travel supplies that we took on our last cruise and how they worked out. In fact, I left some of my bags packed to show you and talk about how things worked. Some of them were wins and some of them were total fails. Some of you know that I bought new stuff for that cruise. So come hang out with us over there, you guys, and see what it's like. The chat is quieter over there. So most likely I'll be interacting directly with you because it's a little bit more calm. Um, if I didn't get to answer your question, everyone, please know that you can direct message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will get back to you. Honestly, Instagram is the quickest. I check it multiple times a day. Facebook, I tend to get a little more behind. I am always here for you, even if I didn't answer your question today. Trust me, we will. David, I do think Faster Than Fun will come back. Teresa Brown, when you click on that Amazon link, what you wanna do is look for a little button that says follow and just tap it. You will see it right there. It should be, if you're on a computer, it should be kind of towards the bottom. If you're on um, if you're on a mobile device, it's going to be over my head. If you're on a computer, though, it's right by the word Cruise Tips TV. You'll see it. But come join us over there, you guys. It is a ton of fun. And thank you all so much for being here to kick off the month. And also, thank you very much for all of the birthday super chats and all of the super chats today. We really appreciate all of you. Megan, after party. Yay, Margie. We'll see you there. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh no, Charles said I'll take that as a challenge. Watch out. Oh, Karen, put on that gorgeous dress for my Amazon Live shopping, shopping cart tonight. Okay. I mean, okay. I have it out. I'm not, I'm, I'm maybe okay with the challenge, Karen. Let's see if we can get up to 8,000 followers. If you see me in the, uh, the blue dress, Karen, you might know that it happened because I've got the blue dress. Let me just show you guys what Karen's talking about. If you want to see Sherry in this, click follow on that. This is one of my new formal night dresses. It is actually very pretty. I love this. And I did wear it on formal night, Karen. And I tell you, it makes you feel like a million bucks. And it's one of those inexpensive things from Amazon that's just amazing. Okay, so we're going to be a few minutes late on Amazon. We were supposed to go live at six, but we didn't make it. So give us a few minutes and we'll get over there. Hi, Chi, I see you. Thanks for coming in. All right, you guys, come join us over there. We'll see you at the after party. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Cruiser of the week. Uh.